Growing up in sunny Australia, I always had a fascination with the cold and snow. Now since we live in Europe, we finally get the chance. So we packed up our bags and headed to the northernmost city in the world. Tromso, Norway. Hopefully we'd catch the Northern Lights and maybe even Santa Claus. I realized later that Santa Claus is actually in Finland. So maybe for next time. This is what we have for breakfast at the this lounge called again. Looks pretty unappetizing to be honest. <laughs> I was wrong. This is really tasty. <laughs> Wait for the crunch. You dip it. First time Norwegian salmon. Mm -hmm. Look pretty good in the sh in the shop, so I want to eat it. Mm. Ready? Mm. Is it fresh? Mm-hmm. Very us like this. It's so fresh. Mm. Okay. This was honestly the best caviar we've ever had. Not sure why it doesn't have the small balls though. Is it just me or does everything taste good when you're hungry? Being in Norway, we had to try some traditional mink whale. I don't think these are endangered, just saying. It tasted like it was alive 30 minutes ago and almost made me throw up. Probably an acquired taste. The fish stew on the other hand revived my taste buds after almost throwing up. Overall, seven out of 10. We tried to go to a highly rated fish market called Dragoi. There's always a massive line of tourists, so we couldn't really get a seat. So we just got the fish and chips and it took like an hour to make, but it was a solid eight out of 10, I'd say. One hour. An hour. That'd be the best fish and chips ever. Mm -hmm. You know it's fresh when the food is right here. Luckily, the fish we ate doesn't come from this tank. We went ham and basically ordered 26 pieces of sushi and sashimi plus some ramen. This beats most places in London also because we're right near the ocean, it was so fresh. first time dog sledding and doing a self-drive dog sled. They gave us these blue suits to combat the cold. It was about negative one degrees Celsius or 30 degrees Fahrenheit. The dogs were incredibly friendly to play with, although I am a dog person, so the dogs probably smelt that. These are in fact my people right here. The instructor guy was basically like, yeah, don't fall off.
The sun's already gone, and it's it's like ten. Help me help. Got, got. You good? You good? Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. What did you think of this this dog sledding, honey? Yeah, it's really fun. Very fun. It's not calming though. But yeah, yeah we were caught in a blizzard. We were caught in a blizzard, but he had, had, was doing the sledding. My mouth is kind of frozen. It just was coming horizontally into your eyes. You can't see anything. I didn't film the part where we went through a blizzard and it felt like life or death. You saw my face a bit frozen, plus my hands and feet were the coldest they've ever been. Should have worn thicker gloves and a little bit more underneath. I've never wanted hot tea more in my life and I never want hot tea. Honestly, looking back, it was a 10 out of 10 experience even though I was almost frozen solid. Would do again. I didn't believe reindeers were actually real until I saw them. This one looked like it was about to spit in my face. Oh, don't spit. <laughs> Stick around for part two and don't forget to like and subscribe.